Good morning from La Dida Farms. Today we're gonna get into the bee barrels and see if we can't harvest ourselves some honey. Breaking up some stuff here to get our smoker going here, so stay tuned. We call this barrel barrel number one because it was the very first barrel I ever put together. I'm trying to find this out, so I haven't opened these guys in a long time. Should be interesting. side oh look got some some bad bees in here been a lot of improvements on the barrel since this one this one's still working Pretty basic. So far so good. Bars are looking pretty good. Yeah, we're getting into our first comb here in a second. They're being quite sweet so far. take that new little piece of comb off because that's no good but a lot of nectar around the edges it's not capped I know you girls worked hard to build that but you can't have that on there I'm sorry that's a couple of pounds of honey right there Thinking about a cross comb a little bit. It has a lot of nectar in it. It's full of bees feeding. Kind of thinking of maybe I don't want to take that one out yet. Let's go to this end. They're just so in there, so peaceful, just drinking nectar, causing nectar. Frames are really big too. When we get these really hot days around here, these giant frames that these guys create will fall and break. So if they have a little extra attached to the inside walls, they're that big, especially this time of year. I don't have to pull them out, it's better not to. Because Makes it that much easier for them to collapse if it hits up over 105 plus degrees around here. I'm a little surprised. I thought they would have filled more of this barrel in. Next one's kind of cute. <laughs> Thinking about building some more. Maybe we'll tuck you in over here. It'll inspire you all to build in there. Totally empty over here. It's kind of old. Kind of feel like we should. I don't know if we should pull that or leave it for them. What do you think? Let's see what else they have. Oh, 
wonder why they never filled that barn. I love how these bars don't let the caterpillars ever make it through. I don't think we've ever really had a caterpillar make it into the frame. This is a big one. It should get quite lively on this one. Is it just honey? And there's the mean bee smell. Something I rubbed a few of them. Let me peel it off just in case. Goodness, this one's super heavy. We're definitely keeping this one. Okay. Wow. Really okay, let me put this down. These right. bees are a little hot. We probably just put 20 pounds in that container. Wish we could have got it on video, but we just needed both hands and holy moly, here we go again. This one's not quite as heavy as the last one, but there are plenty of honey in that. All right, I think we're gonna keep this one too and we'll leave the rest for him. Well, we had some battery issues on a camera, so we're back in the house now with the comb we got from the one barrel anyhow. So we're gonna go through and show you how we go ahead and process it. Got the screen here I set. I think I can pick this up now. We went ahead and squished one already. I think I have a little cap scraper and like so. Got this nifty bucket here with this valve. Love this thing. All right, well, let's go ahead and Get a couple jars going here. I like to squish the combs according to the color of them so that the honey kind of comes out a little different. You got dark comb, you put it in with light comb, and sometimes the honey can taste a little funny. Still good, but to get to taste what they were actually making it out of, I try to segregate them as much as possible. So this was a real clear comb, making for a little lighter, clearer honey. We're gonna crush this darker comb here in just a sec. My filter is a two screen stainless steel mesh wire filter. And that's all I do. Keep it as raw as I can, just get the junk out. Man, that is a beautiful jar of honey.
So since I didn't get to finish up out in the bee yard there, I figured we'd end the video with showing you how we, we jar it up. All right, we're to the darker wax comb or darker comb anyway, so let's start squishing. I like to take a chunk like I did there, bring it over the deal and squish it like an accordion. You just kind of erupt, honey. This honey actually looks pretty light overall. It's just older, darker comb. This should be mainly from sunflowers and pumpkins. So yeah, give it some good squishes, keep working it down. Just like an accordion, flatten it all out. I'll stick my wax chunkies in there. Grab another piece. Sure is pretty. This one's not wanting to accord accordion so well. That's a lot of hair. The sticky job is always gotta do it. Well, it's for like bubble wrap and you're squeezing it your hands when you get out of those parts, it pops a little bit. I just wanna squish in here and I just got a little pork thing in there. Hold it, hold it. Towel over it. Oh, that one's squeezing nice. Just keep massaging it, squeezing it. You'll put a little pocket of honey in. Squeeze it, squeeze up. I love your honey recommended when you do this. Makes it cleaner as far as the honey goes in your product, but keep your hands clean. This wax will save all this wax. I have to get another video. I got a solar melter I created that works super, super well. Although, I've seen better days. Needs a little repair work after this last winter it went through. <coughs> As long as you've got about 80 degree weather outside, the solar melters are awesome because they will, they will melt it all. You can take the darkest, nastiest wax, run it through that thing, and it will come out crystal clear at the bottom. And you don't have to do anything but wait like two days. One or two days of good heat, that's all you need. Piece of wood to clean up the grain. That is an eruption of honey there. Keep it up and run as much as possible. Must be flexed. Kind of overfill it a little bit just to get this done with. Alright. I don't know, can I get this last little piece in there? Let's try. Oh yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I've turned as much as you can off the glove and it is what it is. I'll get the fingers clean and throw them away. And that's it. That's how we crush our honey. Comb.